How are you feeling? You got John Riggs here with another round of open cart surgery. I have a stack of games that they may or may not work, but the first couple of my try didn't, so let's try them all at once, right? If this is your first time on the channel, thank you so much for giving this a watch. I'm a huge retro fan. I like the new stuff too, but a sucker for the classics. Make sure you're subscribed. You can click the bell icon. You don't want to miss out on anything. I do two new videos at least every week. And if you're new to open cart surgery, I've been doing this for a few years now. I take these games that may or may not be working anymore, and I try to clean them up or fix them up or do what I have to do to get these games working again. Because more often than not, you have a game, you pop it in, you get the flashing screen of death. It's not the end of the world. Your game probably still works. You just got to clean it up or do a couple of things to uh, to get it working again. And we're going to find that out in this video. I have five games. I just took a stack of games. My anxiety has been at an all-time high the last couple of days. I just need to relax, you know, de-stress or whatever. I started doing this just without the camera being on. I was like, you know, I could I could film this a little bit. And maybe that'll help me out too. So I have, and two the first two I popped in didn't work right off the bat. So maybe I just need to clean them. Maybe they're broken forever. Uh, we'll, we'll find out anyway. And we'll just kind of go through them in order as we go along. We got A Boy and His Blob, Little Mermaid, one of my favorites. We got Trojan, um, got the classic Legend of Zelda, and then Final Fantasy. I have a feeling a couple of these are going to work right off the bat, and if they do, great. I mean, that's the point. But if you have to clean them up, I have a couple of things laying around, and we'll see if just cleaning them gets the job done, right? To test these, I'm using the Super Retro Trio 3 Plus. This is from Retrobit. Um, it does Nintendo, Super Nintendo, and Genesis. I think it works pretty well for most games. It's not going to work for like those super high-end Koei type games, um, but I use this a lot, I mean, especially for testing and stuff like that too, so I have no problems with that. Uh, we're going to start off with A Boy and His Blob. Another classic favorite of mine. Kind of a guilty pleasure game for me. Sometimes I'll pop it in just to play through it and beat it, just to give myself a sense of accomplishment or something anyway, you know. So, come on, come on, come on. Nothing. All right. Alrighty. Off to a terrible start. So the first thing I'm going to use is, you can use Q-tips and rubbing alcohol. I'm going to use one of these 1-Up cards. Um, super handy because they fit right into your cartridge without having to open it up. If you do have to open it up, I got a screwdriver handy too, just in case. And I can't find my solution right now. Um, I might be out of my solution. So I'm gonna have to order some more here pretty soon. Um, in the meantime, uh, man, this video is full of shout outs, isn't it? This is the DS Koopa uh, Original Formula Cartridge Cleaner. I don't know if this is for sale or not. It might be at Pink Gorilla. Uh, DS Koopa, uh, co-owner of Pink Gorilla, a uh, friend of mine, um, and he uses this personally um, to clean the cartridges at the store, and it works great. So I'm going to literally spray this on this. This is like a crossover of worlds here. Uh, fluid side and dry side. So upside down is the uh, fluid side. I'll just kind of sp spray it right on the uh, cleaner here <laughs> and see if this works. All right, sounds good. Go with the dry side, kind of buff it out, dry it out a little bit. We'll give that a shot. Give me some good news. That's not the good news I was expecting. Should we try the uh, the Bright Boy, maybe? Most go for the Brasso. I go for the Bright Boy. It's another polisher. Doesn't leave that weird residue. A lot of experts out there are like, don't use Brasso. It can kill your game in the long run. And I would agree to that. Um, because they are smarter than I am. <laughs> I've never had a game not work because of I've used Brasso, but I also don't use Brasso like more than once on any one game. So uh, we'll see about that. But already there, you can see how gunky that is, right? Good lord. Good lordy lord. I'm going to need some more Q-tips too. I'm going to want to make sure all of the residue is gone from this thing. In fact... Just to be safe. Another round of this really quick. Because <laughs> the last thing you want to do is take any junk from Bright Boy, Brasso, anything. Again, try not to use Brasso, but if you do, like worst case scenario, um, and you leave the residue on there and you put it in your system, man, that could be bad news for your system. It's also why I use one of these clone systems. I keep my top loader safe for my actual gaming. But something like this, man, I don't know. I don't mind. Ta-da! Boy and his blob working. All right, favorite of mine, cool. One down, four to go. Next up, Little Mermaid. Such a fun game. Always, you know, people talk about you know DuckTales and Chippendales Rescue Rangers. Little, Little Mermaid's really good, it really is. Nothing? 
All right. Little Mermaid it is. You can reuse these one-up cards uh, several times. I forgot what the recommended, how many times you can use it is. But I've, I have, I, I don't know where it is. I put it somewhere just because I wanted to keep it safe. Um, but I have one of the one-up cards. I swear I've used over a hundred times. And it still worked, but I got to a point where I was like, I don't want to use it anymore, but I also don't want to throw it away because it's kind of a kind of a piece of history almost, you know. Hey, there we go. Two in a row. I'm on a roll. Oh, man. See, there's something about this. I can't explain it. I don't know what it is. I can't explain it. But there's something about just, you know, playing the actual game. Even if it's on a clone console, but there's something about sitting here playing on this type of screen with the actual cartridge. You know what I mean? That makes sense to you too? It's like I have the RetroPie setups. I have the Nintendo Classic Edition that with the game on there. Um, I, you know, I have other ways of playing this game, but there's something about playing it off the actual cartridge that's just like none other. I can't explain it, but it's just wonderful. All right. Okay. So far, we're good to go. I want to keep that game handy. I want to play through that game again. It's a lot of fun. Here's Trojan. Always gets a small laugh from the audience when you say this game out loud now, right? At the time, it's like, ah, oh, it's, it's, a, it's a war game. I don't know. Any game that involves up for jump and then the A and B buttons are like sword and shield, but you have to push up to jump, that's, that ain't right. Should have been back for shield or something, but no. Oh, well. oh, cool. Well, was that always up there? On the title screen. Is this part always on the title screen? Well, seems seems all right to me. Ooh. Look at this guy. These bats. Anyway, so that one was fine. And this is again, it's a good reason and good meaning. Just go through your games, just in case. You never know. You never know. Got the classic Legend of Zelda. It's all shiny. Well, not as shiny as it used to be. <laughs> this one is uh, not the my personal copy in my collection, but this is like a secondary copy. This is a copy that I would probably clean up and then maybe bring it to like a game convention to sell for cheap. You know, I, I sell off my duplicates. I don't need two of any copy. I just want to keep the one that I can play anyway. And then this is something, you know, I picked it up in a lot or through a trade or whatever. I don't know. Nothing. Try again. Just in case, okay. All right. I'm going to start off the same way I always do. One up card first. Again, I don't have that solution spray, so, uh. I mean, the, not the solution spray, sorry. The, uh, the. There's like a little eyedropper type solution stuff. This is a little loose here, too. I can always tighten up the screws a little bit. Oh my god, is this broken? It really wants to come apart here. I might just open it up and see. Maybe, that, maybe that's why it's not working. I mean, that wouldn't be the case. You, you can pop in the game without the cart. The cart just acts as the, the filler, I guess. Oh, okay, well. Well, there you have it. Yeah, see, sometimes you just need to... Uh, I don't know who those guys are. Probably whoever got the game from. I will, however, tighten this up. I got a 3.8 millimeter security bit. Sometimes you just search for game bit on... Uh, just search for game bit on uh, eBay or Amazon, wherever you're looking, you know. If you need a uh, screwdriver that opens up. Nintendo games, Super Nintendo games, 64 games. One last one, Final Fantasy. This is the Final Fantasy I grew up playing. I remember when this first came out. Um, I bought this game. I didn't... Oh, come on, I was a kid at the time. I My dad bought me this game um, within the month after it was released. And I remember seeing the Nintendo Powers and it had the strategy guys. Like, man, I couldn't wait to play it. Um, and I really enjoyed this game. I'm not a huge fan of turn-based RPGs, but I really enjoyed this game. And um, I remember replaying it on the, the DS... Or was it the, the Game Boy Advance? There was like a new, like it was the same one, but updated. Wouldn't mind seeing an update of this. In fact, if someone, you know, if Square Enix wanted to do, just like they would like the, 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 the Secret of Mana trilogy, if they did like the first six Final Fantasy games on one Switch cart, updated, that wouldn't be bad. I never played through three or four. I love uh, five and, uh, I love four, five, and six, all for the Super Nintendo. Um, but that's where it all started. I have a lot of love for that game. Once again, 
I'm using the same card. Sp spraying it all over my, <laughs> my my bottle of Bright Boy over there. Come on. Just helps to take care of your games sometimes, you know? These games provided a lot of love to you. It's only fair that you show them a lot of love yourself, you know? Come on, come on. I hear a sound. I don't see a screen though. Oh, okay. I remember this game. I used this. This was a, this was an open card surgery video game a lot while back, and I was like, I can't figure it out. I'll put it aside. I put it aside, and I lost it. I might turn it into cement or something. I don't know. Ah, blammy. And again. Now that looks good, but it's not going to let me do anything. It's stuck. Pushing the buttons. Well, you know what? Four out of five ain't bad. I'm okay with that in this video. So thank you for watching. If you like these open cart surgery style videos and you're new to the channel, I got a whole playlist of them right there. I've been doing this for several years, a few years now at least. I shouldn't say several years. And if you want to check out more great NES games, 20 of them that maybe no one's talking about, 20 of them that you've never heard of, right here, you check those out. And if you like that style of video too, I got a lot of other must play games, kind of like hidden gems, if you will, uh, up in this playlist for like Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Genesis, arcade games, TurboGrafx-16, what have you. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching and thank you for being you.